Okay, this is my first try with the DigiQ Blue on my queue. Um, I don't know how well you can see, but I've got it slipped over the back end of my queue. I'm going to turn the power on with the little button on the side here and start collecting data. I'm doing this purposely cold out of the gate. I haven't shot any uh, today at all, so I'm actually hoping it shows me some stuff I can work on. And then I may try it after shooting for a little while and see if my stroke has settled in and improves from there. So I'm going to turn it on. Okay. Uh, it doesn't change anything on the screen, but it does show shooting at the top of it. So let's see how well it works. got a buzz there so I think that means it picked something up that I didn't do correct but at least it was able to detect the stroke of the shot I got a buzz again I'm trying to be a little careful with what I do see if I can get it to not buzz so I think it's only supposed to vibrate if it's giving you negative feedback. I'll see when I check the app here in a few more shots. I'm getting the buzz again. And that's exactly what I've been told from people that have tried to use it. That it's pretty impossible to get it perfect. But Again, it could be very well. I'm certainly not saying my stroke is perfect. It could be that there's a problem there that's going to alert me to, which is the whole point. I think like most players that have been shooting for a while at a certain level, I think their stroke is probably pretty good, but I'm getting some negative buzzes here, so we'll see. So I'm going to come over here and check the app, see what I'm getting here. Ooh, that's a lot of red. So what am I getting red on? I'm getting a lot of red on my finish, which I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm getting two and a half seconds. Finesse. Straightness. My tips, tip steer is green. My follow through is a four. My jab is green at a perfect ten. My backstroke pause, I guess, is too short at 0.3 seconds. And my shot interval is good at 24 seconds. Of course, I'm just, I really don't expect to pay a lot of attention to that last one because some shots are just going to take longer than others. But uh, let's see. So, my history, I've got. Okay, that was my, so all that information was just on my last shot. And it looks like all my shots I had four or five faults on. It's giving me a lot of feedback. Let me see what my fault charts look like on here. Uh, I finish. I'm going to have to read up and see what exactly these all mean. Uh, some are going to be more obvious than others. Finesse. Tip steer left. I'm getting on a few strokes. Tip steer right. I'm getting on none. 
follow through. My jab's a perfect 10. Well, my jab's a, yeah. On my last stroke. Okay, so I'll have to go into this and get a little more information on what each of these things mean. But it's recording feedback. It's letting me know what's going on. And I'll see what I need to do to improve those scores. that one showed. My backstroke pause was way down. My finish was green this time. Jab was green. Shot interval. Again, I'm not really paying attention to that, but everything else was in red. My finesse, my straightness, my tip steer, my follow through. That time my pause was a little better, my tipster was good this time. So I've really focused on that and sure enough I improved. So I can see where it can give you feedback to make a difference in your game. We focus on my steer again this time and see if I can follow through better. Again, a backstroke pause was a little closer to what it's looking for. And again, this is, you know, I'm not necessarily going to change my stroke to make this app happy. But if it does detect the big ones I'm looking at are thing like things like straightness and tip steer. You know, that's really where you get into are you delivering the cue? to the point on the ball that you expect it to. That's what I'm most concerned with using this app. That one my tip steer was on. First time I've seen red on the finish. Follow through still not there, my straightness still not there. And I thought I had really exaggerated my pause on that one, and that looks like the lowest score I've gotten on my pause. Yeah, that one, and that's good. That one just did not feel right in my setup, my execution, and sure enough, I got more red than I have been. So that tells me that there is accuracy to the app. That one, the most green that I've had so far. I liked my pause. My jab, as usual, was good. No tip steer. My finish was good. The only thing it deemed me on was my follow through, my straightness, and my finesse. So let's see if I can improve that as well before I get through this rack of balls. Improvements on everything, but those three are still in the red. Finesse, straightness, and follow through. Everything else is now green. And it 
really, really makes you focus and break down every aspect of your stroke. Pretty much the same. Obviously, it's going to take quite a bit of practice if I want to make the app happy, but I think it's fairly accurate. I'm going to try to uh, induce a problem here and see if it picks it up. Let's see if I can put a little tip steer. Yep. Left tipster, absolutely. I actually think I have a natural tipster at that side anyway from what I've seen. So let me see if I can go the other way. <laughs> well, I thought I steered to the right. Doing that actually says it puts me in the green for steering. So it actually makes me wonder if, if I'm compensating to the correct position. I don't think so because you can tell how much spin I had on that cue ball. Try it again. It still shows me at a 9 left, it's actually liking it better and better. So I'm not exactly sure if, if I'm thinking of tip steer as the, as something different than it is. I'm assuming it's talking about the horizontal direction of the tip, steering left or steering right. Now if it's talking about my backswing steering left or steering right, then it's at least going in the correct direction. So let me see if I can max it out to the other side and see what it says. That was a complete miscue. That definitely put me in the red, but it still shows left. So I'm not sure how accurate that is, because either way I steer, it shows it going to the left. I haven't been able to show up right tip steer yet. You got the ball spinning with right English. That puts me back in the green. So I don't know I don't know that I can really say it's accurate for tip steer. Straightness, definite red, which it should be. Finesse, definite red. Follow through red. You know. Let me see on my ones I'm usually pretty good at, like the jab. See if I can get it red. Ooh, it didn't like that. Yep, that puts my jab in the red. But gives me a perfectly green finish. I don't know how that was a green finish, so. I'll have to work on it a little bit. It definitely provides feedback. How accurate every aspect of the feedback is, uh, that I don't know. Um, at my best trying to work with this, I was at three faults. So, we'll see. I'll continue to work on it and um, if I come across anything major, then I'll post a little more about it.